Well, decided I might do a little bit of that testing and got about a mile down the road and the second generator quit on me. So well, I've pulled it out and I've pulled this bracket out. Flipped it over, did some measuring. Looks like I'm gonna build me a alternator bracket. So let's go around there to the grinder and welder and see what we can come up with. What I'm going to try to do is set that up like this. And I've cut me some metal, nice and thick. And we'll put that on there, like so. And we'll weld it. Well, maybe stand it up. I'll weld it like so. And then I'm going to go to the back of this and I'm going to weld one straight up and down. If I can do that. We'll see. If it, may have to bolt something on there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's going to get right in the way of that bolt. So, maybe I'll shorten that up. Bring it in. Bring it in there. Yeah. Well, back in here. No. Nope. That will bring both ends up and that'll allow that alternator to flip back and forth like so. Then we got our first tab is welded on. Raised it up about, I don't know, three quarters. I'm going to square this one up and weld it on. Even enough room to get bolt and washer in right there and there. Then we'll bring it over here set it on the alternator and we'll have to cut off that much. Put on the spacer and that should do it. Oh well. After I burn up four drill bits getting me some new holes. There. I think I can flip that over. Go right back to generator. No problem. Well, let's see how it goes. I'll be back. Now she's welded up. Flip this around here. Oh, sit right in there. There we go. See that? So we can take the same bolt switch we out with and slip it in there. Yeah, in here. Let's see if that'll work. And if I don't drop this, let's get that screwed in there. Go on in there. I still have to drill the holes. Me and drill bits, we don't get along very good. I burn them up or I break them. Where'd my hole go? Come on, hole. All right, there we go. Okay. So, got the original mount for the generator. I welded a small chunk of steel here to the edge of where the old generator mounted. And then I welded a little bit longer strip right up in there. Throw that generator down there because it's 200 pounds. Once I get that, once I get that brace cut a little bit and shaped, it'll fit behind the alternator where it was in front of the generator. But it's not overly bad. We'll just slip that belt on there. We can get it to move without all falling to pieces. Yeah, there. Let me move the phone in a little. This is very hard. Up we go. There we go. Well, it's tight. That's because I don't have it. There we go. Ah, phone's everywhere. Look out. Look out. All right. There we go. So it's on there on the bottom. And the belt's on. I don't know if you can tell, but it's pretty dang straight. And then this brace, I can either bend it and come in front or just go behind it, run the bolt in from behind. And I'll have to make a little slice in it and give it a little bend this way so that the alternator can go back and forth. And that'll be it for mounting. 
Let's see how much I've spent so far. Nothing. Well, we got the the base of the alternator mounted. Let's run through our wires now. Here we have our blue field wire. Then we've got the A wire, the ground wire that come off of the generator. We don't need to worry about that blue wire because that's not how alternators work. They're basically backwards to generators. These two are the ones we want. Now the smaller brown wire, or yeah, let's back up. The, the big brown wire goes on the big lug. That's gonna send the positive there. And the little brown wire goes back to the dash and put it on number one on the connector, which we can see is, it says R. And then the number two wire, just hook a, hook a jumper from number two back over to the main lug. And then we can tape off the blue and the black. And then we go up here, we can unhook the blue if we want to and tape it off. And I'm not sure what else we really need to mess, mess with up here. Everything else should work. Now, before we do that, on this type of an alternator, always unhook the ground on your battery. And always unhook the ground first. There are there's a diode inside this dude. If you get too much of a spark by hooking up the positive out of sequence, like it will burn that diode out and then your alternator won't charge. So to simplify this, when you're taking your battery out or putting it in, you always wanna complete the connection with the ground. So if I'm gonna take a battery out, I wanna take the ground off first. And if I'm putting the battery in, I'm gonna put the ground on last. The ground will reduce the amount of current that rushes into the alternator and prevent blowing that diode. Later alternators kind of took care of that. They're a little bit more robust. All right, well, let me see if I can get this hooked up. We'll give it a little bit of juice and make the motor turn over and see if we can get that generator like working and if it'll charge. Yeah, it should get up in there. Maybe that'll keep it from coming out. Yeah, that should work. I'll make my little jumper out of this. Oh, that's kind of big. Yeah. Nope. Squeeze the tar out of that. Now I'll solder it so maybe it'll stay put. There she goes. Nice. I got one more to do. Yeah, number two. Come around here though. I'm going to plug that into number two and bring it over here and connect it to the alternator. Come on, come on. Come on. Why? Here we go. Hmm. Nice. Action. Okay. There's that part of it then. Tighten that booger back up. Yep. All right. Hopefully that doesn't get in the way. I'm going to leave that till we get this other wire made.
No way. No. Already. No. <laughs> this is a family film. Come on, get on there. That burned right in there. Okay. As long as it don't get inside, we're good. Look at that fancy bracket. Look at it. Put your peepers on it. There. Let's get these off of everything. Just as good as a store bought. That's right. I could have went and bought one of them. DIY is just as good as store bought. That's fact. Mm -hmm. Now all I gotta do is connect that brown wire to this here red wire. I think I'm gonna cut it back a little bit. That probably them wires look pretty darn new right I probably here. should have used that wire right there. Did y'all put a new wire in here or something? I don't know. No. It looks pretty new, you know what I mean? Those colors. Yeah. This wire would have been perfect for the other wire. Oh, oh no. I would have to start over. It's short. Did it go right there? It'd be just right. That's terrible. Okay, put it in that trailer over there. Well, we're going to pretend we didn't see that. We'll just cut this off and butt connect it. Yeah. Well, let's just clean that off. Oh, yeah, we got that. What? Where you at? Where you at, Jordan? Dude, I like the instrument cluster. I like the way the interior looks in this car. Yeah. We need to get it cleaned up one day here. Make it better. All right, well, I guess we might as well cut it off up here. Ah, it's 14. There we go. Put that in there. Come around there. It ain't nothing to it. Get on. There we go. So squish on that and just call it good. And then I can bend that over a little if I can. Well, in theory, I can start his car now, and it'll generate some electricity. Well, we just moved the bracket up off the alternator off the water pump and put it up where the idler pulley for the air conditioner is supposed to go. Later, I'll get in there and drill another hole. And she mounts right up, so that's good. It'll adjust all we want to. Here's the wires back here. Get a little taping on them. And the last step was moving those wires up here on the regulator. So pull the brown one off of here. That's the big brown one. Just move it up to the top. And I just pulled that off for now. Don't need it. And I pulled the field wire off of the bottom connection. We'll just take that up and forget it. So now we still got a connection going around to the battery. We've got a connection going to the horn relay. And later we'll get the horn working and you know, I'll tape all these wires back up. But I wanted to make sure everything was going to work first. And it looks like we've got her. Well, first test drive. Got the alternator hooked up. Moved the bracket so it fits on top. Everything seems to be working. You can hold this phone so you can see down the road, okay? Don't shake it around, though. Don't look at the sun, either. Still kind of cranky on the idle. Let's try this out.
there. It's nice and straight too. No wiggly stuff going on. Tight. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. I hope this uh, maybe helps somebody. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a like if you want. A little ringy of the bell. That'd be fine too. And the old Miss Cade's ready for duty. And it's a nice ride too. There's just nothing like an old car. The cars from the 50s really rode good. Wonder what my dogs are barking about. She wants to go for a ride. Okay, guys, that's all. Thanks.